Hi everybody, it's Pat Huntoon here from Technique Junkies and today we're going to be making this beautiful slimline card in just a couple of uh, minutes. It's a very fast card to put together and it's really pretty and it's very, very shimmery. I don't know if you can see the shimmer on that card, but it's very shimmery. So I'm going to show you how to use my sprays a little differently than I normally do because normally I tell you to go low and close to the cardstock, but this time we're going for the light speckled look. So let me show you how we're making this slimline card. First of all, I want to clarify that my slimline cards are three and a half by eight and a half, which makes it really nice for using an eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper. So what you're going to do is take an eight and a half by 11 sheet sheet of paper, a white sheet of paper, and you're going to cut it at the seven inch mark. Okay, so it's seven inches, then you're, go you're going to cut it. Then you're going to take the remainder, which would be um, four inches, and you're going to cut that down to th three and an eighth by eight and an eighth. Okay, so, all right, so I have the, the first cardstock piece here, and I'm going to fold this in half. Let me show you a little trick. So I'm going to open my Misty, place this in my Misty, and fold the top over to the bottom. I don't know if you've ever seen this before, but it's a great way to get a perfect crease. So I'm just going to put that in there, and I'm going to crease that. Grab my, my bone folder and crease that across, and I have a perfectly creased even card. Okay, so that's my base card. What I'm going to be working with next is this smaller piece, and I'm going to be using two stamps on this. I'm going to be using SD995 Floral Silhouette, and I'm going to be using SD 834 You Are Special. So these two stamps work together pretty well on these cards, and I especially like the floral sil sil silhouette for the slim line because we use it one way and then we use it the other way. So let me show you how we're doing that. I am going to be using a stamp position or a misty, but you can be uh, doing this without a misty. So what I'm going to do is I'm literally going to be putting this in here at um, one and a half inches is the measurement I'm using, but I'm little, leaving a little bit on each side because I want my piece to be aligned properly on here. So I'm going to be using a piece of acetate. You've seen me use this before, just a piece of acetate to line things up. So I'm putting this into the corner and then I'm taking my floral silhouette and placing it where I believe I want it on the cardstock. Now the, the little trick to this is to have a little bit of this floral silhouette hanging off the actual cardstock. I'm using black memento ink, but you can use whatever black you'd like. Anything that's not going to run when we spray over the top, although we're spraying very little. So I'm going to ink that quick and stamp. Okay, that is where I want it more or less. I think I might even move this up a little bit. Stamp that. Okay, so I've stamped that a couple of times to get a nice deep inking on that. So what I'm going to do now is just turn this right around, turn this piece right around, and try to put it pretty much in the same spot that the other one was in, and I think that's pretty much it. But the best way to find that out is to put the acetate back down, the acetate that was stamped before, and place it over the top and just make sure that you have good placement there. And I believe that's almost perfect. I might move it a little bit to my right, just a tiny little bit. It doesn't really matter all that much. They're not going to be perfectly identical. And then I'm going to, I'm going to stamp this one. Okay, full disclosure here, I did stamp each of these two images several times using my Misty, but that's what a Misty is all about, right? Or a stamp positioner is all about, that you can stamp things three or four times, get perfect inkings, and move on from there. So I'm actually going to move this now. I'm gonna move this down here more because I want to be able to use my acetate, so let me wipe that off. And I want to line up the You Are Special. So I want to make sure that the, I have a big enough piece of acetate that it fits in the corner still, because you always use your corner as your anchor with, your, with the acetate. So I'm going to place this where I think it should go, which is eyeballing it, it's there. And when I flip this up, I want to make sure that I have it in the right orientation. Now you can see there was a little ink on there. Can you see that? 
the inking there. But I think I'm just going to ink this just to be sure. Just put a little inking on there on the acetate. And I think that is pretty well where I want it. So I'm going to remove the acetate. Make sure that my paper is uh, tacked down. And I'm going to ink this so it's nice and deep. Now, I might have been able to move that You Are Special over a little bit, but I don't even think it really matters that much. That was only stamped twice, and I think it's plenty. So let me take it out of the mystery. One thing that you want to be careful of when you're working with acetate is that it's really easy to transfer ink from the acetate to your fingertips, and you want to make sure that you get this off before you move forward. All right, my hands are nice and clean again. So the next thing we're going to do is spray this piece, and I'm using two colors here. I'm using... Uh, these are old bottles, sorry. I'm using Shimmering Bliss Vivid Volt, and I'm using Shimmering Bliss Dolphin Coves. These two colors, they're one of my favorite combinations together. Now, normally when I show you how to do this, I tell you always that you have to move the mica on the bottom. So you can see there's no mica on the bottom of my bottles. Now, normally I tell you to go, re go all the way down the cardstock, lift your finger, and spray, because I, we want color intensity most of the time. But this time, what I'm going to have you do and spray from about six to eight inches above because we want to get speckles on this one. So try to direct it a little bit. I'm directing mine to two different spots. Don't worry about those dots of color. They shouldn't drive you crazy. This is the type of card where they look pretty. So I'm going to put a little dolphin and then I'm going to fill in the rest pretty much with the Vivid Volt. I love this color combination. I love where they touch. I just think the color it makes is so pretty. And this is very green. If you wanted to add more dolphin, you could. Just look how beautiful it is. It's got a gorgeous shimmer to it. It's just really pretty. So I'm gonna set that aside and clean off my work surface. And by the time I get back, that should pretty well be dry. Okay, so now we're ready to put this together three and a quarter by eight and a quarter. So I'm going to put tape all the way around this. And because we did use a liquid on there, I would suggest that you use tape at least all the way around the edges so it doesn't lift at the edge. That drives me insane. So I'm going to line this up on here and put this down. even all the way around press it down nice and firmly and then all that's left to do is to place this down on my cardstock this down now you could pop this up if you want to but I'm not popping it up today I just want to show you that this way so that is it that's our slimline card today it's so simple to do this is the one I made earlier I used you can see the difference between using a little bit more and a little bit less spray it's really your preference both ways are really pretty so these are the slimline you are special cards with a bunch of shimmer to them I hope you enjoyed the tutorial today if you did please give us a thumbs up on YouTube and consider subscribing to the technique junkies YouTube channel I will see you next time thanks for stopping by today bye now